Hello, I'm Brian with Desert Fabworks Custom Welding and Fabrication here in Fort Mojave, Arizona. Today we're going to be showing off the CNC plasma bill that we've been working on for the past couple months. If you've been following us on our website, cncplasmabill.com, you'll be familiar with everything that we've been doing. Today we're going to take and do a video and show off the highlights from the build and the culmination of what we've been able to accomplish. So let's get right to it, show off the bill. Okay, so here's the table. Before we get to the actual unveiling, I want to show you these covers that we had made for the table. These covers are easy to remove and simple to put on. Helps keep the dust and debris off the table, the rails, and uh, out of the workings when we're not using it. There's also a custom fitted cover down here on our electronics control center, which keeps all the dust and debris out of there, keeps the computer and the plasma unit clean when we're not using it. So, let's get to the unveiling. Okay, here it is. This is our custom built CNC plasma table. It's a four by eight table. The table system and the rails come from Precision Plasma. This is our iPlasma four by eight series. Had a lot of vendors that have helped us out with this. All of our electronics and our controlling system are from CNC and C. This is our Blade Runner packet, their Blade Runner package. And we'll get in and show you some of the, the highlights of this build here in a second. Let's get the control center out here and, and show off what we did with this here. Underneath here we have our Hypertherm PowerMax 65. We have our computer system. And then we have our Blade Runner package from C and CNC. Let's pull this guy out. We really wanted something that was going to be very compact and easy to take and collapse and minimize the footprint of this machine when it's not in use. So, a simple lift and hydraulic shocks take and fold open our control center and we can have access to everything that we need to be able to use this machine. What we did is for this one here is we set it up to be super easy to use, kind of a uh, little, little over the top on a couple areas to take and, and kind of make use of all the capabilities this machine has and make it uh, a lot more fun and easy to use in the long run. So like I said, we have our Hypertherm PowerMax 65 down here. We've got consumables stored down here. We have the Hypertherm kits that uh, come with all the extra consumables. We're going to try out some of their Copper Plus consumables and uh, compare those to the standard electrodes. Our computer system, you can follow the details of the computer system build on the website at cncplasmabuild.com and our drag and cut box down here. We have a slide out keyboard so that we can take a, bring a stool in and we can work really easily and operate all of our controls from right here. If we need to take and go mobile and get closer to the machine, we have this controller. This is a Xbox 360 controller. It works great with the Mach 3 software and you can take and control the whole machine right from this controller. You can program all the buttons to do a very various things and, and uh, basically do whatever you want with it. Okay, so let's move in for some close-up shots and show you some of the other things that we've got going on here. When it comes to hooking up our system, it's really easy. We make a couple of connections, we're ready to cut. Take and bring in our airline here. We took and put a hose off the back to make it really easy to get to. Make our air connection and then we make our power connection and we're ready to cut. The Hypertherm PowerMax 65 unit is powered up and ready to go. This green wire over here is a case ground. We have everything grounded back to an 8 foot grounding rod that we've pounded into the earth. We've tried grounding to our plasma units, the chassis of our, our uh, electronics case down here, our table, and our main ground off of our electronics. Okay, as I said, this is our control center. Here's a lift of our sponsors that helped out with this build here. Baker Gas supplied a lot of our consumables, welding materials. We also purchased our consumables and our Hypertherm PowerMax 65 from them. The PowerMax 65 is our power unit in this. We have our electronics from Dragon Cut at CNC and CNC. Lube Corp provided our cutting fluid that's going to be the base for our liquid mix that's going to be in the water table. 
We've got Cascade Metal Designs. They're going to take and be providing all of our metal art and uh, all of our custom designed DXF files for our cuts. Steel FX, they're the providers of the steel patinas dies that we're going to take and use on some of our art projects coming up. Precision Plasma is, of course, the manufacturer of our table. We've got Sheet Cam, who we're using for our cam software. Corel for our drawing. And then Mach 3, which is our provider of. Okay, let's take a look underneath the table. This is one of the more controversial items during the course of our build. We had a lot of comments and questions about this. This is our sump system that we came up for draining the table and using to store the liquid to help with evaporation and cleaning the table. So what we did is we took two 55-gallon poly drums, took the threaded inserts that were already part of the drums, we threaded in our drains that you see up top, to the table, come down here and drain in the system. We've got a manifold up on the top outlet ports up there hooked into an air system. And what we do is we take and pressurize the, the drums, force the liquid back up into the table, and then when it's time to drain, we open our valves, and we let gravity drain everything back into our sump system. It works very well. We've got some uh, pictures and some info on it, on the process, that uh, during the course of the build, it only requires about 5 PSI. So a lot of people are thinking that uh, we're going to have problems with the pressure and possibly bursting the drums, but at 5 PSI, we're very low. Fills the whole table in about 15 minutes. One more item while we're underneath the table here. You can see that everything is powder coated a beautiful blue. That's going to be RAL5005 blue in case you were wondering. And this is the same color that Precision Plasma uses for their table base. And when we did our water pans, we wanted to take and make everything match. So we had it custom powder coated to match. Okay, now let's take a look at the table top itself. The iPlasma series does not come with a water table as a standard piece. It does come with all the information to build your own water table. If you don't want a water table, it has cu custom built and designed slats. They're really tough to see, that, but they're right down here. And you can take and just do a downdraft system without having a water table. But we wanted the water table, so we took and fabbed up per their uh, drawings our water table. So as you can see here, we have a, our slats running across there little spacers down the side to control our distance in between the slats. Down here in the bottom, this is a riser, which helps keep all the slats up off the bottom, allows for better liquid flow, and for draining the table. The center rail through here is what ties everything together and is also the basis for our grounding system that connects everything together and provides our ground connection for the, the table system. Rails are all stainless steel. They have stainless steel supports down the side for running our cable track, I guess cable track. On the center here, this is our Z-axis. We did a couple things on here so we can uh, kind of be prepared for the future. The yellow plug up there is a, an electrical plug, 110, for the option of using a router down the road. They ship this z-axis with a router attachment as well as a machine torch attachment so we can easily switch it out and go to a router if we so choose making this machine very versatile that we can do wood metal and and various other things with the same piece of equipment this is a floating torch head design you can see the wire running back down there behind the micro switch and gives us our helps with our torch height control and finding our zero point on the sheet metal every time for the cuts. A couple of things, we installed limit switches and homing switches. This is our one of our limit switches, a very simple micro, micro switch that's tied into the dragon cut system. And here is one of our other switches and we use this one for homing. 
down the side here we have another ground connection so if we need a better ground we have an odd shaped piece of equipment or material and we're doing something different we're not getting good ground because of the slats or some other reason we've got this connection here that we can take and actually hook to the material provide us an excellent ground to whatever we're cutting okay so let's see this thing move here we go All that's being controlled with our Xbox 360 controller tied into the Mach 3 program. All the movement is extremely smooth. The IGUS cable carriers as part of the iPlasma package work great on controlling our cables. We have control of Z as well as our X and Y. We can also set up the homing buttons to take and go to predetermined locations on our table. 